Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and today we've got a brand new installment of This Week in EDM where we go over, uh, well, songs that came out this week in EDM. Uh, was it was a bit of a slower week, I would say, personally. Uh, 23 tracks that I wanted to talk about in a wide variety, uh, variety of things. But uh, as always, they're in a Spotify link down below for a playlist if you want to see them all in easy access that way. But without any further ado, let's hop into it. Uh, nothing in trash this week. Uh, nothing in, we've had not had a trash song in a long time, I think, personally. But uh, we got two in bad, and we're starting with Steve Aoki featuring featuring Ernest with Us. The uh, Hero Quest 2 Double Helix, I think, album is out now. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, like, what even is this track? Um, you've got a country singer on top of an electro pop beat that is just sounds so opposing uh, to each other. It just doesn't make any sense. There's just so much distance there. Um, Steve Aoki's production is also like foreign to what he normally does. It's like way more bright and just cheery. It's just a, it's a weird track, weird track. Then we've got Murata, Portal to Sin, the new Crown of Torment EP is out now. Uh, and this has got to be one of uh, the weakest Murata EPs yet, I would have to say. Uh, this in track in particular is just like all the other kind of standard Murata tones and track structures that you get with the, another one. And it just, I don't know, it just feels like there was nothing more added on. This is like a baseline Murata track that would, just didn't get taken to the next level, personally. So, yeah. Uh, but we're moving into the meh category, and uh, as a reminder, again, these are just my opinions on tracks. Don't take them as gospel truth. Um, but we're moving on to Excision and Kaiwachi with FYU. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, I'm pretty much whatever on this track. Um, you've got your crushing dubstep with the kind of <laughs> the lawyer Tom Cruise uh, vocal samples from, I can't remember what movie it was, but um, yeah, it's, it's a track I don't particularly find interesting, and that's that. They've got Shock One featuring freak, Freaks and Geeks with Sugar Rush. A uh, fairly standard drum and bass cut here with Shock One signature synth sounds. And um, yeah, didn't really find anything too crazy about this one in particular. Then we've got Nostalgics and Scrifizer with Lockdown. Uh, this, I think, is a fine track. Um, not really a ton happening tonally. That's the same kind of three beats with a little variation uh, here and there, despite the, a track that feels like it should have more variation to it. It feels like it should be a little bit more all over the place stylistically, and it just didn't really get there for me. But uh, maybe that's my own weird taste. But um, yeah. Also, you can't say switch and then not switch. You can't do that. You can't say switch and then do the same beat. You just, that's not, no, you can't do that. Uh, then we've got Sudden Death with Harbinger. Uh, Sudden Death has been really polarizing for me as of late. Um, some tracks I really dislike. Others I think are some of the better heavy dubstep uh, rhythm tracks out there. But uh, this track lies somewhere randomly in between for me. Um, I like the longer lead into the second drop and was on board with the kind of uh, abrasiveness of this track. I didn't think it was too overdone, but uh, it was a weird in between where I was just like, okay. Sweats and meh. We've got Delta Heavy and Haley May with Get Down Tonight. Uh, call it consistency, call it boring, um, but you can't deny that uh, Delta Heavy style is very refined um, and he rarely strays away from that sound, or they rarely stray away from that sound. Um, yeah, this is just another, another Delta Heavy track. Yes, that's, yeah. And then we've got Jules, uh, The Power VIP. Uh, wasn't too keen on this track from the album, the original, uh, but found this VIP also kind of lost some of what I liked from that original track, the th parts that I did like. Um, but yeah, just found it was a little bit more of a standard jumpy trap beat with this VIP and found it to, to yeah, not really fit in with the tone of the record, which is why I guess um, it's the VIP and not a part of the record. But uh, yeah, just one I didn't, uh, didn't overly love. Then we've got Flux Pavilion with Adiago for bass. The Flux Iverse EP is out now. And um, this track is like, imagine the orchestral strings and scale and just sound of an Apache track where you've got like that very, just very orchestral cinematic sound. Um, but then just replace all those string sounds with like a, an imitation synth is kind of the best way to put it. It's like this weird pseudo classical electronic track, which I mean, comes from the name Adiago for bass. Um, and uh, yeah, just a weird one for me personally that I... Did enjoy, but also didn't. So, uh, then we got Pilot featuring Tim Hutch with Lines of Code. The Axiom LP is out now from Pilot, I believe, his debut album. And um, yeah, this track in particular is not as explosive or complex as Pilot tracks have been in the past, um, but it is that kind of consistently solid synth run track with uh, vocals that I didn't particularly fall for, uh, but still, uh, yeah, okay, almost made it to good, but.
Then we've got Zoo and Wax Motif with Better Recognize. Uh, very playful as a stereo listening experience, um, but didn't really love the kind of synth melody focused uh, nature of this cut in particular. Um, I think it has a time and space that I would really enjoy, but I just found it to be a little bit more uninteresting than anything. But I thought the production was pretty solid on this one, which is why it's at the top of meh. As we move into the good category songs that I thought were uh, pretty good that came out this week, uh, we've got Tyla and Marshmallow with Water. Uh, for a dance pop track, this is really solid. Um, obviously very uh, Tyla forward here, especially with her vocals, but um, yeah, uh, I think the vocals carry a bit of the track and Marshmallow's production is simple and not distracting and actually pretty solid. So way to go. We've got Nightmare, Res, and Death by Romy uh, with All Night. Uh, for as dark as these artists can get stylistically, um, this really isn't your like smashing, brooding, dark sound design that one may would have expected from a collab like this. But uh, it's still a track that resides in that lower register, but just doesn't quite go with the full like underground sound, I would say. Um, but yeah, I was really pleased by this one and uh, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Now I've got In Fowler and Overblur with Cloudfield. The new Cloudfield EP is out now from In Fowler. And um, yeah, outside of the big boys of the color base scene, I've always kind of appreciated and been drawn towards In Fowler's production and his style. Yeah, um, production on this track, I think, is some of his best. I love the kind of jittery synth run on the bridge. Uh, vocally, I thought was okay, uh, but overall was a uh, pretty, pretty solid track that I enjoyed. Then we got Set of Sky and or Terry Zong and Cubs, uh, a little bit more of a straightforward pop track vocally uh, within the verses primarily. But then um, on the chorus, it's a bit of like a light drum and bass tune um, and a beat that I think works really well with uh, where the track had established its tone uh, all throughout. So uh, one that I surprisingly enjoyed and a little bit of a mix up from uh, these uh, these two main producers here. But yeah. I got Eliza Rose and Calvin Harris with Body Movin. Uh, a simple track with a nostalgic overtone to the whole thing. Um, this just kind of feels like primetime, summertime Calvin Harris vibes. Uh, the horns aren't doing anything crazy, but really bring the whole track together. And I think this is one that you'll hear uh, a bit in the uh, 2024 summer. I've got Lemater in your mind. Uh, haven't heard a ton of Lemater in the last two years because they haven't really released a ton in the last two years. There's been like one track in the last um, like 18 months, something like that. But um, yeah, this was a welcome surprise. Uh, the track is um, not crazy out there, but is a consistently kind of driving and um, yeah, just, just mad synthy, I think is the best way to put it, which is like true Lemater fashion. So uh, yeah, not too bad. They've got Chime, uh, the Wait For Me, AU5, and Low Maximus uh, remix. This is uh, definitely not your standard AU5 remix. I haven't heard a ton of Low Maximus from the past, but uh, much more of a standard kind of one, two heavy dubstep punches of a remix. And um, yeah, I think it had certain chaoticness to it that I think worked quite well. Uh, and I think the original does lend itself to that uh, chaoticness working uh, in its favor. So yeah, solid remix. Then, uh, surprisingly this far, I think uh, a lot of you will be surprised with me, but uh, Sullivan King and Excision with the Gengar remix of Fall Apart. Um, Gastly's Gengar uh, alias makes its kind of Monster Cat debut here, and uh, I'm normally not a fan of Gengar's production. It's kind of that, like, really just metallic dubstep that I've not been a fan of in the past, but uh, I thought this was a pretty solid take on the original track. Um, it's got that big noise, huge, huge energy to it, uh, and very tasteful, blaring synths that I, I typically don't really resonate with, but... I thought this uh, worked really well as a remix, so way to go, Gengar. Then we've got Amnes featuring Cherry Lena with uh, Deadly Desire, the uh, x EP. I think it's a French word, x I'm not going to bother, but uh, new EP is out now from Amnes. And uh, if Jitter Trap was a genre, this would be it. Uh, his particular style of this kind of chill hybrid track uh, isn't one that I hear a ton nowadays. And he's really carved out his uh, unique niche for this uh, or I guess in the music industry. And um, yeah, he's an artist that I've had a, like a major producer crush on as of late. And I think more people need to hear him. And uh, yeah, I think Amnes is incredible. I think this track is great. And uh, I think, uh, yeah. Go listen to Amnes, please, if you like trap in any capacity or just kind of chill vibes in any capacity. So then we've got Chill and Zuta with Let Go, the Have remix. Uh, this is kind of the perfect example of making a simple yet effective remix of a track. Um, production streams Have here, but uh, still has all the hits and sounds of the Chill and Zuta original. Uh, Have goes hard, but not too intense, which again is, I think, perfectly in balance and in tone with uh, what the track was originally. So it's all 
Then we got uh, two last tracks, and we're moving into standout. Two tracks that I thought were standouts this week. Really solid. Uh, we've got Slippy and Darby with Take Two. Uh, one of the most unexpectedly smooth tracks I think I have heard. I did not expect this to be as smooth as it was. Um, the yeah, like dance of bright synth and vocal chops with uh, against the, like crushing bass lines and deep hits were clean as hell. Um, super polished production with a very fresh soundscape and uh, a track that I feel like I hadn't really heard a ton of in the past. Like this is a style that feels a little newer to me. Uh, I don't even know what to really call it, um, but I enjoyed it a lot. And finally, our number one track of the week is Haywire, White Lie. The two-year hiatus is over as Haywire is back and on Monster Cat as well. Um, this is just a fabulous return uh, to, for Haywire. It's a more vocal forward track than it's been in the past for him. A little less uh, processing on the vocals as well in that kind of lower register, not that kind of uh, really high-pitched up uh, tone that Haywire does that often accompanies his uh, MIDI solos. But um, yeah, this is just kind of your classic funky Haywire, uh, like three mini kind of solo sections all throughout. And... Uh, it's just it's just clean and it's nice and it is uh, it is great that Haywire is uh, is back producing some music and um, I love it so yeah but that's been this week in EDM let me know what you think of any and all of the songs in the comment section below but uh, other than that my name is Gordon from Bowtie Media and I'll see you guys in another video.